Hello and welcome to my new video. If you're new here, hi, I'm Lex. Today we're actually going to be looking at ideas for city islands. So these city islands will be various themes. We have some tropical, some darker themes. It's just a lot of islands with different aesthetics that you can take inspiration from if you're trying to make a city island in Animal Crossing. I'm starting off with this gorgeous tropical city and my first idea for you here today is this little plant shop. Hello? Don't get me wrong, I've seen many an idea in my time. I mean, I've been doing these videos for years. I don't remember ever seeing a pet shop like this. It's so cute. I love all of the little animal adjacent details here. I love the different items and animals placed. I love this little cat umbrella design. How adorable is it in the little dog houses, the beds? All of the details here are just so good and it's a great way to use a fake building in your city if you wanna have some actual stores represented presented in your city island. This is a great idea. Also, lovely way to use some items you might not use otherwise on your island. Okay, and where the last island had more of a tropical vibe, this one has a, a traditional sort of urban aesthetic. And I can say confidently that I've never seen this specific idea in Animal Crossing before. This creator made a skate park using the inclines here as the ramps, and there's even little simple panels with some graffiti. I think this build has so much character, and again, just a way to use some items you might not regularly use. I adore the little skateboard item, and I've never used it on my island. Honestly, probably would have fit on Lotus Reef. I think this is such a fun idea, and it's a good way to use some inclines if you haven't already. Might as well put them to use. I think all the items here are really well done, and it is in a little neighborhood area, so it's kind of like a recreational zone for the villagers in this part of the island. I think this is so fun. This is kind of a random thing to be enchanted by, but I absolutely love the way this creator decorated around their Able Sisters. So obviously this front area is really cute. We've got this sort of plant shop vibe happening. It's cute, it's relaxing. But what really got me was the decor behind the shop. I feel like I struggle a lot with that, figuring out how to fill in the area behind shops, especially if they're not right in front of a cliff or something. And I think this creator just did such a beautiful job. So you can get a bit of a better look here. This is what the decor looks like. I think it is so cute and cozy and it's just perfectly done. I don't know, I'm obsessed. I think this is phenomenal. And I don't know, I feel like we never see inspiration in post for things behind buildings. Maybe it's just me, maybe I'm just not looking hard enough, but this really caught my eye. I was like, wow, look at that. What a, what a stunning build. Freya also agrees and enjoys. For yet another city vibe, this island is a kid core city and I think it does such a good job. I wanted to showcase this little toy shop. Let me turn off the island map. Okay, now we can look at it without the map popping up, but look at this toy shop. I think it's so cute. I love that it's stitches themed, or he's the owner, I mean. Look at the stuffing station. Shut up. It's like a Build-A-Bear plus other toys. The dollhouse in the window is so cute. I love that they have this little puppy plushie out here. Everything is just so well done. Love the little signs out. It's very well advertised. I also just love the street and everything. I think this island is just good and spo in general for setting up your city island, but this toy shop really just, uh, so precious. I also appreciate the buildings behind the toy shop. Like, we're filling in the area. It looks like it's more than just this front building, and I really appreciate that. Also, the utility pole. This toy shop has power, for sure. I'm also only just now somehow noticing all the bubbles. Hello. This is freaking adorable. 12 out of 10. New city, new theme, and this one also really blew me away. Here we have a winter city, and look at this. I can't remember what this vehicle is called, but it's shoveling snow. It's clearing the roads. How clever is that? I definitely have not seen this before. I think this is a really cool use of the glowing moss item. This is like a giant glowing moss boulder, but it's absolutely selling as snow. Like give that boulder an Oscar. It's doing its job. I think this is super pretty as an island. I love the snowfall, the snowflakes. And I don't know, I just think it's really funny to see this little guy shoveling snow off of the road. I mean, how fitting. What a good idea for your snowy island city. And the road, the custom design is also selling it because it is a snow road. 
But yeah, we're making the road safer on this island and I just think this is, I mean, it's literally just two items, two items and some custom designs and you have your own snow shoveling operation. Up next is a city staple. Here we have a subway station. This island is called Ethereo, which I think is really beautiful by the way, but look at this subway. You can actually sit on it. So, I mean, for all intents and purposes, we are, we are on the way somewhere in the city. This is super cute though. I love that there's a little bus map on the ground too. Look at it. We have the little routes on the ground, but I love this build. It's right behind resident services. So also just really convenient. If you're coming to the island, you're dreaming, you can get anywhere on the island from here. This is just so fun. I think it's really cool the way it's set up here, the way it looks underground, even though it's not like it is exposed, it's just neat. Here is an overhead look at the subway station. How cool is it? And the graffiti on the wall in the back too. This is just amazing. I also love the little bar here for holding. You can hold on to it so you don't fall. I just really appreciate this and especially that you can come in and sit down. How well done. And again, a city staple. You need to have your public transport if you're calling yourself a city. While I have you here, remember to drop a like on today's video. It only takes a second, but this did take me a while to put together. Our next idea is another city staple, especially in Animal Crossing, and that is the skyline. I think this is so neat. This island is based off of LA. So there is also like the Hollywood Walk of Stars and stuff. Definitely recommend visiting. I love to see a city skyline in AC and H. Here's a little view. You can see all the different little building designs, the neon sign in the distance. This is super cute. And I love that there is a little walk up area for this. There's literally an incline up so you can enjoy it all the way up here at the top. This is another island that as you walk around, you just recognize how creative people can get with the city theme. This is a little train. I love the items used here, the like science -y machine items, and then some ABDs here in the front. I love the green theme for this train, and I just think it's so neat. I also always love to see railroad tracks on islands, love the cave item here to show where the train is going. This just really exemplifies how broad a theme City Core can be. This island is absolutely stunning. Love the ongoing construction too. And a little neat tidbit about this island is that the train is something you can get on. So incorporating this pipe into the train itself was genius. It's just part of the train. I was like, okay, maybe this will take you somewhere. No, the pipe lets you board the train. Look at us go. How neat is that? How creative. I, I just, people in this game never fail to amaze me with the things that they do. This is so cool. So yeah, you can get on the train yourself, take a seat, enjoy the ride. If this isn't one of the coolest builds you've seen in Animal Crossing, I feel like you're lying. Something I think that is inspiring to see for any island theme is a neighborhood. And I thought this creator did such a good job of putting together their city themed neighborhood. This is so different from what I would have imagined for like a traditional city core island. And it looks stunning. Look at our little queen Pearl walking around too. Okay, push me away, queen. You're always right, actually. This is so cute to me. Each of the villagers do have their own little spaces to themselves, but they are arranged around this bridge centerpiece, which is really neat. It kind of feels like some construction happening maybe, or maybe there's just a little pond here and they need a bridge. This is super cute. All of the items, it just feels, it's like kind of cluttered, but in a good way. I love it. I think it looks stunning. And then look at this little area. Like, hello, this is super cute just really well done a great use of the space here on the island and it does encapsulate five whole villager houses so if you're looking for a way to use half of your villagers in one area this is a really good setup idea before we get into the last island idea for today thank you so very much to my channel members all of you, each and every one of you, your support means the world to me. I really appreciate that you've chosen to help my channel this way. If you're not a member already and you'd like to become one or just see the perks, here they are. Our final idea for today is this little grocery store setup. 
It's, it's a life grocery store. It is so clean. The setup is so nice. This just looks lovely. I love the items in use here. I like the contrast of the white items with the natural wood on some of them. I just think this looks phenomenal. And the green and orange coloring is really nice to see. Also appreciate the little strawberry milk in the window. I could go for that right now. I just think this is super cute. And look at the little cart return over here. Oh, can you go in? No, but you can almost go in. This is me in the Life grocery store. Um, but this is adorable. I think this looks amazing. And I actually love the way the street is set up here, how it goes like diagonal. It's almost like the end of a diamond shape where the store is. So just a cool way to see how to fill an awkwardly placed empty space on your island. This looks phenomenal. Thank you all so much for watching today and I'll see you in the next video. If you need some more island inspiration, I recommend checking out this video. Bye.